Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of the Star Wars Black Series Han Solo from the new Han Solo movie coming out in a few weeks. Now, I'm very glad to have been able to find this figure. It was, I believe, one of the double packs in the, in the wave. And as you can see through here, it's packaged in the same style packaging as they always come in. You have the picture of the actor uh, who's playing Han Solo. You have the figure in the front. You have the Han Solo number 62 up here. In the back, you have just the same information with a little bio that says Han Solo reinvents himself after leaving behind an old life. Now, Solo is growing increasingly comfortable traveling with lawbenders and scoundrels. What? Really? Of course. Anyways, uh, we have here a really nice looking figure and I'm really looking forward to opening it up, especially now that it has this new print technology that are implemented in their new figures. So let's get going. All right, let's open this guy up. And there he is in his clamshell. And he's really nicely posed. Let's get this guy out of here quickly. Always grab him by the feet first. And then we have his blaster. Alright. All right. And here's the new Han Solo figure for you to see. And I can tell you right now. The sculpting of this figure is fantastic. The way they made everything is basically what you would expect of a Black Series figure. They spared no expense in doing very great detail on the clothing and on the boots and on the jacket. Everything looks great. But what I really am impressed with the most is their print technology because of the new printing process they have for their faces. They make it look more realistic than before so uh, let me take this guy out and you can see him much better now one of the things that I was really looking for with these new lines of figures is this new print technology that they have for their figures and I'm hoping you guys can see this but the look of this guy is amazing um, let's see if I can focus better the way they're doing this is like beyond my I have no idea how they're doing it the only time I've ever seen something like this has been in the SH figure arts line and I'm really, really happy with how they came up with this. Now, this one unfortunately does have a little bit of some specks on the side of his face. And the only reason that this is like, I would say I picked this guy out was because out of all the figures that I found at the at Target that were up uh, hanging, this one had the probably the better looking eyes. And that's the only thing I look look at really sometimes when I'm looking at these new figures because the eyes have always been very difficult to make and oft often before they look very cartoony and they never look right spot on, spot on the area but this new print technology allows it to do so much more than that and it's actually way better and that they are much more like focused and pixelated but it's so great and it's just amazing I mean I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen in the future with any other figures coming out in the line hopefully they re-release some figures with this print technology but overall if you look at this suit it is well done it's sports the same pants of Han Solo now I want to say it's the Corellian pants I might be wrong on that obviously I know some people will correct me on that but it's it's great because that way you guys can tell me so I learn but the overall look of it is great the coloring of the jacket and the wash that it has on it makes it really worn out and it looks really really great I mean I'm just so glad even the blaster itself looks pretty pretty cool the articulation on this figure is very standard from every other uh, Black Series figure that you can see. It's got a really good range in, he in its head, but it does have a nicer range in terms of and now it, it can tilt better. It doesn't seem to have the up and down movement as and the joint in the, of the joint in the neck, but it looks really good. His hands can move up and down. There's no bicep swivel. There is an elbow bend, but this elbow is a single jointed elbow bend. But what's really nice is that there. Are, doing some really great engineering in that they're making it so that now his elbow can go pretty high up that's an impressive before you would get it this far like a 90 degree angle but now it's going farther up which means that they can actually do possibly like two-handed weaponry holds so it's pretty cool as you can see in here it's got like the little diaphragm which is really cool no waist swivel but the diaphragm works really well because that way he can twist his body legs can do the same as always the twist 
double jointed everything like that so the way that he can actually pose looks much really really cool can do some sort of like action stance right there well you can't see it but anyways it's a nice little action stance right here now I want to do a really quick comparison to another figure that has similar printing technology on it and that is the SH figure arts Han Solo from A New Hope and as you can see them side by side uh, the print technology on them is fairly fairly good this one has a little bit more pixelation on his face and sometimes it looks like it's more detailed but it's also his skin tone for Harrison Ford is a little bit tanner compared to the new actor who is a lot more paler apparently but the print technology on both of them is very nice I don't know why but I feel like Hasbro has a much nicer look to it it's very soft and it's not overly done and it looks really good whereas the SH figure arts still looks great on its own but sometimes can just look a little bit overdone I know his eye can look a little off and his mouth looks like it's overly saturated with darkness and black it almost looks like he's got lipstick on but either way I mean the technology that Hasbro is going with is the so far one of the best ones I've seen and as I said before I am looking forward to seeing uh, the future figures implementing this especially with the original trilogy movies and hopefully they will release the uh, old figures with this technology that's that would be awesome but that's just a comparison there so at the end I want to say that this is a great figure and I have to tell you you have to go get it uh, luckily in this wave Han Solo is double packed I believe and so you'll find him more often and you'll as I did I found a couple of them at Target hanging hanging there and uh, I was able to pick the one that I felt had better paint features but overall good look for this guy because I mean the, the his ability the way he looks and hopefully if the movie does so well I I'm definitely gonna say that this figure will probably sell out really quick because he has an amazing amount of te technology added to him now a lot of interesting articulation uh, this is my bad interpretation of trying to do an action pose but of course it's hard to do it on camera when I'm just trying to review it myself right here but overall guys I want to say pick this guy up when you can it's a great figure you won't be disappointed and as I said um, look at the paints to find whichever one you think is best for you but overall thanks for joining me I hope this video was uh, informational if you liked it please press the like button subscribe if you have any questions put them in the video below and I will catch you guys later and keep collecting.